Hi everyone, it's Sabrina Woodworth with Work Lessons 101. And today's question is, how do you switch departments? So this question actually was written to me quite a while back. Um, I'm only addressing it now because I, I wanted to think about uh, how to give this answer. It's going to be somewhat generic in the sense that I can't get terribly detailed because every company is very, very different. But I think these four steps uh, will be applicable to any industry and any company you essentially work for. So first thing you need to do is a simple question is first assess if your company allows you to do this. Does, does your organization offer multiple career paths? Um, if it doesn't and you're not currently happy, then it's a simple solution. You're going to have to move on to a different organization. But today, most organizations, especially the large ones, offer multiple career paths. So it's most likely an answer of yes. So the second step is, is you need to gauge your boss, supervisor's reaction um, to you switching departments. Um, will they support you is a big one you need to ask yourself. Um, or will it potentially hurt you by telling them? Uh, possible ways it could hurt you is they could try to pigeonhole you into your position. Um, they could also hurt you in the sense that they might have something lined up for you, an opportunity, and as soon as they know they're going to lose you, they'll pass it on and give it to someone else. So before you reach out to your boss, your department manager, your supervisor, whoever's responsible essentially for your next promotion, next raise, you need to truly ask yourself whether it's worth uh, telling them and will they support and help you move into another department uh, if they will support you obviously sit down with them ask them how, and put a strategy together of how you can do that what skills you need to gain and so forth um, if your boss isn't going to support you I'll provide you a an example from my career in just a second but the first thing you need to do um, before uh, you start to put a strategy and plan together. You need to have an updated and effective resume. So if an opportunity comes up unexpectedly, you need to have that updated resume so you can send it off right away. Um, and you need a career development plan. Um, whether your organization has an official one or an unofficial one, you should have one just yourself because this is going to help you put a strategy to move out of your department and into the department you desire. So those are the, the step three. And the last thing is you're going to need to put that strategy and plan and a backup plan together. So I'm going to explain to you that example uh, from my own career. So when I was working as an engineer, I wanted to move um, into project management. Um, I impressed uh, the project director on a current job and I was offered a project uh, area manager position. It was actually quite senior. It was definitely a stretch assignment for me. But I didn't get it. I was ended up being blocked. Um, I'm not going to get into the details, but it didn't happen. Um, I wasn't prepared for that. I took it as a huge blow. But at the same time, it gave me the motivation to put a proper plan together. So I dug deep into my organization and all different avenues and all different career paths. So I should have done that long before this other opportunity came about. I didn't. So learn from my lesson, understand your company, understand the politics and what departments and what are lateral moves. And obviously whether you can do a jump up the ladder is ideal, but many times you have to do a lateral move. So I made a lateral move to get into a new department. My company offers a high potential rotational program through business development. Um, and and if you get chosen, you have to be nominated or chosen for it. Um, and if you do, nothing can block that. You move into that position. So that was the position I put my plan together. Um, I reached out to my boss. I told them my plan. They said they would support me. But just in case they didn't, I had a backup plan. And I ended up making um, contacts with my future boss direct reports so they could slip it into conversation that I was interested in this business development role. That's exactly what happened. Um, um, that's exactly how I was put forward for the role is I got an interview based on my network. My, uh, I never got it through my boss. So sometimes you need to have multiple plans to be able to switch departments. Anyways, uh, hopefully that was helpful. Please reach out to me on any of my social media sites or my website, worklessons101.com for any questions. Thank you.